Hey YouTube, here's another one on my video on trem systems. Uh, I've been curious about Steinberger guitars for some time, uh, but it is a very, very expensive uh, guitar. So I got a Must Lady Steinberger kit, uh, which I think was about a hundred bucks. Uh, it does come with this tremolo unit, uh, Overlord of Music. Um, and I basically built everything together before I finished anything, just to see how it went together. And one thing I did notice, let's see, let me zoom out a little bit. One thing I did notice is the tuning is unstable, which is another topic of my other um, YouTubes. But basically, when you're tuning the guitar, you turn this one way or another, up or down. And you can see that this actually moves quite a bit. So I think when you move it uh, tuned down, it goes this way. Um, or in tune up, it goes this way, so it moves around and it causes quite a bit of tuning instability. Uh, so basically what I did was I modified this just a little bit, very easy modification. So on the unmodified piece, in comparison to this one, you can see that it kind of moves about an eighth of an inch up and down. Versus this modified one, it still moves, but it's slight. And I haven't really used it yet because my guitar is not assembled. But I wanted to uh, shoot this video um, before I assembled it. Um, so basically what's happening is... Let's see. Looking at the inside, so there is a groove here. Where these pieces sits in. And even side by side, there is quite a bit of movement that, that happens. And in the... In, in this direction, basically it's being stopped by this piece, uh, which gets attached let's see, to here. So just by looking at this, can you see it? Yeah. You got quite a movement this way. Uh, sort of vertically, not much, not so much horizontally. So, I tried all kinds of washers, nuts, or whatever, and in inside, outside, try to make it more stable. Uh, haven't been very successful with that. Um, but I did find this tube, um, some, some kind of food tube. Uh, basically, it's a let's see, three meter, three millimeter outer diameter one millimeter inner diameter some kind of soft plastic piece um like smaller than your aquarium air hose or whatever so basically what i did was i cut a small piece here and it's a tight fit because uh inner diameter is actually smaller than the outer diameter of the the the, the uh, screw or the bolt so you kind of have to twist it on using the thread yeah it's taking a lot longer than I thought And basically making this part a little bit thicker. I'm um, not really sure about the durability of how this thing works, but basically, so right here, just this part, the ledge part where it fits, trying to make the fit snug. It's snug enough that it, it won't fall. Um, otherwise, it would just fall. And then. you would just assemble the other piece and this spring will just go right over it so hopefully it'll, it'll help in keeping the piece together pull the spring a little bit get it in there and you know, normally this screws in but I'm not gonna bother 
so you have the let's see the second piece is the one I haven't um, uh, modified yet but now when you move this boom is minor so hopefully it'll be a, a better tune than the, the standard condition where it moves significantly like this okay so a little bit on the must lady um, Steinberger kit or headless guitar kit oops it's too big here so this is actually flame maple top and finished and all that kind of thing but two things uh, that I found one was that the neck pocket was cut too far down uh, towards the, the tail end of the guitar uh, almost a almost half an inch so the neck pocket was actually cut down to about here um, obviously the guitar didn't intonate when I put it together the first time couldn't figure out why and I measured it and I go hmm okay um, I know why so for, for the one I did basically I had to put a little block in here you probably see this a little bit of gap on the bottom side uh, in order to move the uh, guitar heel this way almost half an inch uh, this was originally an SSH configuration but I changed it to a HH configuration another thing was this cavity for the tremolo was too deep which means when you put the tremolo in here basically I couldn't raise the bridge pieces or saddles high enough in order for it to clear the strings I mean the, the fretboard with the string um, so basically I had to put in about two millimeters can you see it this is basically a rosewood piece right here so right here you can see the the cut end of the piece here and the cut end of the piece here and right here I added a rosewood piece that's about two two and a half millimeter thick um, I don't have the piece right now but the the piece that goes under this thing uh, where the uh, the fulcrum or the um, stud is uh, four four screws it, it bolts into these positions uh, so by doing that I was able to raise it up um, I think that was it uh, on the must lady kit um, that's actually a pretty neat kit for the price but if you're a complete beginner building it um, be cautious or caution because uh, it requires woodworking okay anyways that's it